Your Excellency, Ariel Henry, Prime Minister of Haiti. On October 2nd, 2023, the United Nations Security Council adopted Resolution number 2699 authorizing a multinational security support mission to Haiti. Kenya, having been requested by member states, accepted to lead the coordination of this international mission. Pursuant to this resolution, preparations for the mission commenced, including the authorization procedures, preparation of mission documents, including the concepts of operation, conduct and discipline policy, status operation agreement, and directives on detention searches and use of force. There has also been extensive engagement with member states to translate the global solidarity into concrete support for the multi-security support mission. On October 13, 2023, the National Security Council of Kenya and the Cabinet of Kenya approved the deployment of 1,000 police officers to Haiti. Further, on November 16, 2023, the Parliament of Kenya unanimously approved this deployment, both at the National Assembly and at the Senate. Subsequently, a petition was filed in court and the court determined the need for a reciprocal instrument between Kenya and Haiti to facilitate this deployment. Today, March 1st, 2024, I am pleased to inform that Prime Minister Ariel Henry, here with me and I, have witnessed the signing of this instrument, which have also discussed, we have also discussed the next steps to enable the fast tracking of this deployment and the importance, significance, and urgency of this mission cannot be overstated. It is a mission for humanity. It is a mission in solidarity with our brothers and sisters in Haiti. We, as Kenya, together with our brothers and sisters from different countries who have graciously accepted to be part of this mission, to contribute police officers, to contribute equipment, to contribute other facilities, including financial resources, are responding to the cry of children who want to go to school, of women who want to go to hospital and find medicine, to young people who want to further their careers, and to business people who want to continue with their business. We are making this response because it is what is right. It is what humanity, it is what humankind can do to fellow humankind. So we are very proud that this moment and the signing ceremony we have witnessed is the final step in the response that has been asked by the people of Haiti, the children of Haiti, the women in Haiti, the civil society, and the entire society of the Haitian people. For them to have a peaceful country to live in and for them to contribute to the development of Haiti and global peace, global security, and global prosperity. I want to call on the other stakeholders and the other partners that have made commitments to this journey, that this journey is now as urgent as it can get. 
if what we saw yesterday in Port-au-Prince is anything to go by, it speaks to the urgency of this mission. And I want to say, from Kenya, we are ready for this deployment, and I request all other partners across the globe to step up so that we can provide response in good time and to ensure that the people of, Ke of, uh, of Haiti and the people of Kenya join together in making sure that we all live in a world that gives us opportunities to further ourselves. And I ask members of the international community that we owe it to the children in Haiti that have no peace, to the women in Haiti that experience violence, and to fellow humankind that have no security in their country. Let me conclude my remarks by taking this opportunity to reiterate Kenya's commitment to contribute to the success of this multinational mission, and we believe it is a historic duty because peace in Haiti is good for peace in the world as a whole. And therefore, Mr. Prime Minister, you have my commitment, that of the government of people, and the solidarity of the people of Kenya as we engage in this mission. And I want to promise you that we will not delay. We will be there at the earliest opportunity that is possible. So welcome, Mr. Prime Minister. Thank you, Mr. President. The world for solidarity. Because we are facing a situation where people, people, young kids couldn't go to school. Women cannot have the medical attention that they deserve. And goods cannot move inside of the country. We did the, this appeal, and you st step up, and you said, we want to help Haiti. We want to exercise a solidarity with you. Thank you, President. We appreciate it. Since months, we are working together to fine-tune this mission, and finally, we sign. It's the last step before the deployment. We hope that the deployment will occur very soon because the people, they cannot more anymore suffer, suffer. What this mission is bringing is hope for the future. Hope for the future for the humankind. Hope for the future for the people that cannot foresee tomorrow. I'm not saying the year after, but they cannot see how they will live the next day. The, how they will come back home. They, are, they don't have insurance. If they leave the home, that they will be back. President, thank you. And we want to thank also all those who are involved in this mission under your leadership. What we could promise you is that we are going to do our best for the success of this mission. It's not an usual mission. I, according to what I know, it's the first time that a kind of mission is taking place. We'll do all our effort for the Kenyan to look as our brother the best, the best solidar, uh, solid, come on, this solidar, 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 solidar people. Yes. Thank you once again, and um, let us work. The hard work is, bef be, be, is before you, before us. Mm -hmm. We have a lot to do together. together. Thank you. Thank you to the people of Kenya. Mr. Prime Minister, thank you very much. You have our support and solidarity, and we will not delay, as I told you. Thank you, thank you very much.